Hey everyone, um, welcome to August 14th. So it is Wednesday and we are heading to gymnastics. So this morning um, has been a little bit chaotic. We just got up, did breakfast. Um, the girls are doing, we're doing different things downstairs and I was working on cataloging our middle grade shelf. And if you guys have an app that you love um, for catalog cataloging your books, let me know because library thing is driving me insane. Like it, it doesn't recognize the majority of my books. So then I'm typing them in by hand and it's just making me nuts. And so, um, yeah, I'm glad to be taking a break from that. And we're going to gymnastics. Um, last night, I, everybody needed stuff up until like bedtime. And so I didn't finish, um, they call this enemies or enemy, but I do have both. Um, they call this enemy. I read just a handful of pages and I have, um, risen motherhood. So I've got to finish both of those. I'm going to try to do it during gymnastics, but only two of the three go. So I have my two year old and, um, so we're going to see what we can get done. We just ran by the library and got two full bags of books. Um, so that is exciting. And yeah, we're going to do gymnastics, do lunch, do a little bit of quiet time. And then they've got tennis this afternoon. Um, but I think my husband's going to take them. So that is great. Um, so that's really the update. I guess no real news. Ainsley is going to pick another read after this. And um, yeah, that's everything for the day. So we'll check in later. Okay. What did you think of this one? Five stars. Uh, is this your first Jigsaw Jones? I think so. Did you like it? Yes. Okay, let's pick another another card. Okay. Hold on one second. I gotta open. Okay, go okay. ahead. You want the box? You got a six again, which is move, please. Uh, random read. So we can randomize your uh, your library TBR. We can do a random letter, or a random color. Color. Oh, color. Okay, we'll do a random color. Okay, so the random color that Alexa generated was violet blue or something like that. So we're going to say that the um, little thing here, the letters and her shirt are kind of the violet color. So okay. this is number two in Shay and Emmy by Quibben Janae Wallace. So this is going to be her next read. Hey everyone, it is later in the afternoon and I am trying to, I'm going to try to talk somewhat quick because the cicadas are so loud, um, but my kids are also really loud. So I'm going to try to update you guys uh, where you can actually hear me. I am itching a thousand bug bites and now it's windy. We're, we finally got like a full sun, which is really great, um, but it's still nice and breezy. So there's your weather update for the day. But today has just been really chaotic. It's been one of those days where like there's a thousand diversions, a lot of big emotions, just everything kind of going on. Definitely a hump day. So um, I finished during rest time. I finished They Call This Enemy. And uh, goodness, now the wind. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me. But this one uh, was just okay for me. So it, like the beginning, felt emotional because it was George's experience. And it was um, told really through his eyes how, how like getting shipped to the internment camp felt for him. But then because it is so many years removed for him and he was such a young child, um, it felt then very dry and objective and almost textbooky. And so um, it kind of lost some of its emotional impact. So there's that. Not the best, but it was okay. And then I listened to more of um, Middle of the Night by Riley Sager. So this one is good. It's interesting. It's definitely taken a paranormal turn. And I was prepared for that. But also, I'm not sure how I feel about it. So this is about um, two boys. I am getting like eaten alive out here. I should probably go in. But it's about two boys who were camping in the, one of their backyards. And then in the middle of the night, uh, the tent got slashed. One of them got taken. And now it's the other one, 30 years later, going back. And he feels like he um, sees, like, feels the presence of his friend. Okay? And so there's that. We're trying to figure out what happened um, to this boy. So there's that. That's really all I'm going to say about it. It's interesting, um, yet not one that I, like, can't put down. So, so far, I would say this is, like, a three-and-a-half star read for me. And I'm, like, 70% of the way through. So, now my husband's about to take the kids to tennis. And um, that gives me, like, an hour. But I have to make dinner in that hour. So, I have choices. I can continue to catalog our middle grade shelf, um, which is a feat. And you guys let me know if you ever want to see a middle grade shelf tour. I could do that at some point. Um, so 
yeah, I could do that. I could continue to print and plan curriculum um, because we plan on starting Monday and today is Wednesday, so that needs to happen. But I think we're low on toner, so um, I don't want to get started and then get bogged up by that. Or I could just sit and read my Bible study book, my Sunday Bible study. I have four chapters to read, and so I need to do that at some point. So, uh that's what I want to do. It, I want to sit and read my Bible study book, but I don't know what I'll actually do. Um, I probably won't update anymore tonight just because I really, like I said, I have an hour to get dinner made. Uh, I don't know what I'm making. I have leftover pita and, and uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to air fry some tofu and just make hum hummus and tofu and all that kind of stuff because if you guys don't know, we're vegetarians. I somebody commented um and I said that and they didn't know that and I obviously don't talk about it much but anyway so I could do that um with just like chips and veggies and fruit uh that's probably what I'll do because that sounds the easiest but I need to make that I need to figure out dinner make dinner and um otherwise I'm just gonna be kind of putting my head down trying to get stuff done so probably won't update anymore tonight um let me know too if you're enjoying seeing all my daughter's picks. She is crushing it on this readathon. She is definitely winning the game. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And I don't know. Let me know anything else you guys want to see. I feel like today's vlog was really boring. Hopefully, tomorrow will be better. Um, tomorrow is the OB appointment, and I'm taking all three kids. So, as much as I would love to film it, I think I'm going to have my hands full. And it's a new OB. And, um, and it's their like far away location as opposed to like my normal location so it's going to be maybe another chaotic day maybe a day full of peace i don't know my appointment's right before lunch too so i'm just going to load my bag with snacks and hope for the best and uh that's going to be the day we have nothing tomorrow afternoon and it's back to being hot now so maybe a pool afternoon or something so we'll see um but that's it so we will see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching